HTC struggles as high-level executives leave the company. Google Drive sees some major improvements in mobile. And believe it or not, Microsoft downgraded their YouTube application to please Google. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, is it just me or is this our video number 3001? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the new products. LG has just announced their new Optimus GJ, and I know this sounds like G.I. Joe or G.I. Jane, and still, where it is name in history? Uh, the problem with this product is that this is actually an Optimus G, meaning it keeps almost the same design. It has every single of the specs that we saw last year on the Optimus G, and the difference is that this is a ruggedized version of the phone. We still don't know when it'll come to the United States or pricing points, but we will keep you posted. If it's even worth it, I mean, it's got last year's specs. Now let's move over to the Microsoft versus Google battles. Microsoft has decided to water down their YouTube application, you know, the one they had to actually build because Google never built it themselves. The reason why is because they got that cease and desist letter we talked about days ago because you could download videos and you couldn't get any ads. And so far they figured out how to get rid of the downloading video part, sadly. But well, the ads haven't been fixed yet, so stay tuned for that. Enjoy it for now. And speaking of Google, they've made a major overhaul to their Google Drive services for mobile. You now get enhanced editing features for spreadsheets, you get a new UI that looks a lot like Google Now, and you also get probably the best feature, a scanner with the camera to be able to take photos of documents and scan them into Google Drive. Yes, you had that feature previously with Genius Scan and other applications, but it's always great to have everything integrated. You can download the application now, and trust me, it is worth it. Now let's talk about the Nokia EOS project. Yes, we know the reports. It'll probably be announced or launched by the end of this year, but new reports from a more reliable source state that July 9th will be the date for the announcement. And I still don't know what's special about this date. Doesn't match any other event actually, but point being is apparently this device will keep the same design as the Nokia Lumia 920, probably a little thinner, and bring the 41 megapixel camera. Not sure how they're gonna figure that one out, but it's interesting to see what's happening. And it's kind of weird because Windows Phone 8.1 will probably not be ready for when this device is being announced, which is kind of interesting. Let's just see how things point out probably again. These are just reports. And finally, for the most sad and concerning news of the day, things seem kind of grim over at HTC. I mean, their VP of Communications has just left, uh, their senior chief product officer have just left, and that's just part of the executive team that has left in the last couple of weeks. I mean, we do know that Peter Chow has committed to stepping down from the company if the HTC one is not successful, but we do consider that to be unfair. I mean, HTC has driven most of the innovation in the smartphone industry for the past decade, and if anything changes in the company, that innovation could probably be gone. But that leads me to the question of the day. Did you buy an HTC One? And if you didn't buy an HTC One, let us know what, why you didn't choose it. And also let us know what you think is wrong with the company. In my particular case, I'm buying an HTC One. I mean, I do feel that the company has done a great job in the past decade, not just now. So I do believe that they deserve another chance. But leave us a comment down below. What did you do? Of course, as always, for another year's scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow for video 3002, 3003. We've got a ton more content coming up. Thank you very much for watching and your loyalty. We really appreciate it.